How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is the Foot Swap August Prime Icon Pack. We've got a few to open and I'm really excited to open them. Now if you guys don't know, uh, EA actually released the 10th Foot Swap player for this uh, month into uh, Rivals. Uh, not Rivals, Weekly Objectives, sorry. Uh, it scored 12 goals using English players in Rivals this week. So you have to go into Rivals and score 12 goals using English players. It could be done literally in one game. It could be done in 100 games. It doesn't matter you just have to go ahead and do it um it's probably incredibly easy to be honest i imagine that people are probably doing this really really easily and really quickly um so we're gonna go ahead and open up some of the prime icon packs now before we get into that i just want to quickly mention i've been mentioning this at the start of most of my videos um and the support has been incredible lately we are very very close to 100,000 subscribers and it's still it's just crazy to even say that to me. Like, when I started YouTube, it's been a, a dream of mine to hit 100,000 subs, get the cool plaque they send you out, and it's just, we're getting so close to that, and I'm very grateful. So if any of you guys aren't subbed, it would mean the absolute world to me if you could subscribe to the channel and help us get closer to 100,000 subs. Uh, I don't think we can hit it before FIFA 20, but... You never know. Sometimes miracles happen and fingers crossed we can and hopefully a miracle like that happens. So uh, we're going to jump in and open up some prime icon packs. Now, I want to quickly mention as well, if any of you guys ever want to be featured in videos like this, if you ever have packs, you know, in FIFA 20 that you want opening, all you have to do is get in contact with me on Twitter and I'll always be down to share play packs. I only do it on PlayStation now as with Xbox, you have to log into people's account and I'm pretty sure that's like breaching TOS or something like that. So I didn't want to breach TOS anymore. We've switched just to PlayStation to open these so if any of you guys ever want to be featured all you have to do is get in contact with me on twitter without further ado enough rambling for now let's get into the prime icon packs i'm really really excited to open these hopefully we can get some huge prime icons so it's time to open jeff's pack now this is going to be the first one i am opening uh, apologies as the share play will be a little bit laggy. Uh, we still haven't had the good internet put into the house yet. We get it put in tomorrow morning, which is super irritating because I wanted the, uh, the the share play not to be as laggy for this video because I'm really excited to open up these Prime Icon packs. They're really new in FIFA and it's just something that I'm excited to open. So, would be nice to see if EA did this like two or three months earlier next year. That'd be pretty dope. Regardless, here we go with our first Prime Icon player. Like anyone would be amazing, you know, uh, Hullet, R9, Dino. Any of the top players would be amazing to get EA. Come on, show us the source with this Prime Icon player. Maybe next year we see a Prime Icon Moments player if they're in the game. Who is this? This could be a good player, actually. It's Prime Petit. You know what? That's actually not too bad. I know he's got a Moments card, um, but this card is definitely usable. If Jeff hasn't got like a really solid CDM in his team, this card is definitely usable. Uh, he's got decent in-game stats. Uh, I think he's one of the the more rounded uh, CDMs in terms of icons. You know, he's uh, six foot one. He's got decent physical stats, uh, decent passing stats. Not the best dribbling stats, sadly. High high work rates do make a difference, though. Let me quickly have a look at what Jeff's uh, Jeff's uh, midfield situation is currently looking like. Yeah, that could be a card they could definitely use. He could replace it with Condogbia or Thiago Mendes easily. Uh, I think both, it would increase chemistry for... In fact, no, I don't think it increases chemistry for anyone, really. But massive thank you, Jeff, for letting me open your pack, bro. Appreciate it, man. And uh, let's move on to some more. Now it's time for Adam's pack. Again, apologies if it's a little bit blurry or the connection isn't great. It just happens, unfortunately, on SharePlay. Um, this is his team. So he's got 88 Vieira and 86 Hullet. And the screen just went black okay we're just gonna open this and hope that we can get it open in time fingers crossed we can upgrade either his hullet or his viera oh my god this is a little bit laggy um it'd be nice to get a prime hullet or prime viera to upgrade this squad or like any defenders or any midfielders really here we go come on a second prime icon pack of the video come on be decent be good be good to us ea i'm excited to see what this is i really like open these packs and we've got prime Haji. Who, by the way, is one of those icons that doesn't get used a lot. He's actually really good at cam, but isn't an upgrade to the plays he's got already, sadly. That's kind of disappointing. Um, it's always annoying grinding 10 icons, uh, sorry, 10 tokens to get an icon that isn't fantastic. In terms of stats wise, he's got a four star, four star. He's five foot eight, he's left footed. The stamina isn't great, unfortunately. He's got decent dribbling, passing, and shooting stats. Uh, one thing that always stood out was his shot. I used him back when the green time finesse shot 
was a meta um, and you had to move your goalie to save them. Otherwise, it just went in. So that's pretty much why I enjoyed him a lot because I was just doing loads of finesse shots. But uh, unfortunately, not an amazing icon. But massive thank you to Adam for letting me open his prime icon pack. Now it's time to open Sem's prime icon player pack. Let's have a quick look at his team. Uh, he's got prime Vieira, prime Hullet, prime Moments Maldini and prime Pele. So a prime Ronaldo, uh, prime Maradona. Trying to think of other players that he might find use from. Maybe a prime Van der Sar would be pretty good. Um, who else would he actually find much use from? I don't see a whole lot of players he'd find much use from because it's a really, really nice team. But hopefully we can get him something decent anyway. And just remember, guys, if you guys ever want to be featured in any of these videos, all you have to do is follow me on Twitter. I tweet out when I'm looking for packs to open for these videos. So if you want to be featured, all you have to do is reply to the tweet and we can get you on the video for sure. Now, here we go with another Prime Icon pack. It's going to be Italian. It's going to be CV. I don't know what that means. What position is that? Please don't be Maldini. Of course, it's Maldini. It's the prime version of the player that he's already got as a prime icon moments. That is so lucky and unlucky at the same time. It's a fantastic player to have prime if you don't already have him as prime. But it's so unlucky because he already has him as a prime moments. Oh, wow. I hope he didn't complete the prime one soon because it's such a nice card. But like I said, like if we quickly go have a look at his team again, that is so unlucky, EA. I think they've done it on purpose. I think yeah, he've done it on purpose. Not fair, not fun. You see that? He's got prime moments, Maldini, already. Not fair, EA. Not fair. He's played five, 500 games with this card, to be fair. So I'm guessing he uses it a lot. That's so unlucky. Uh, but massive thank you, Sam, for letting me open your pack. And apologies for getting you that. That is so annoying. And I really wish we got you something decent. I'm going to level with you. This video is not going to be 10 minutes. And instead of waffling on with boring... Stuff that people don't want to watch. I thought I would show you guys what my room in the new house is currently looking like. I thought it would be the funnest way to get this video 10 minutes. So, <laughs> uh, I'm just, like, I thought I'd just be honest with you. Honestly, I, I thought it would be better than, than, than buttering up anyway. So, here is the room in the new house. It's going to be like a preliminary room tour. We will have a house tour out pretty soon-ish. However... We're waiting for Nerdfire and Curbs to move in, and then we're going to clean the place up and get a house tour out and stuff like that. So that will be pretty soon. Regardless, here is the room tour. So here is the door. On the right, we have um, uh, uh, like a clothes basket, a washing hamper. I don't know. Uh, then we have uh, a little console table. It has a bag that I need to move into the bathroom. We have my Xbox that I don't use. Uh, and then we have my TV on the wall. I don't know what size this is. This was literally on this wall when we moved in, so I'm just using it. Um, I don't know what size it is. It's got my Chromecast open at the minute, uh, but it's really, really good. Uh, moving along now, we have a random HDMI wire on the bed. That's how you know I'm a YouTuber. We have a window over here. I'm actually on the third floor of a three-story house, which is pretty cool. It's a massive house. Uh, we got my bed, bedside table. Built that by myself with these two hands. Well, this hand and the other hand that's holding the camera. Um, we have matches and candles because I'm a smell freak. I love everything smelling really nice, so I insist on it. We have... My passport, yeah, <laughs> remote control for the TV, uh, AirPods, massive ethernet cable because the new internet gets installed tomorrow, so I'm going to be running that all the way downstairs to where the internet box will be. Cable ties, uh, more cables, uh, more cables, we have Socrates' card down there, we have a chair that was here as well when I moved in, but it's actually really cool, uh, it's comfy, so I've left it there for if anyone wants to be in my videos and stuff like that, they can just move it behind my setup. Uh, we've got my MacBook charging, we've got my Samsung tablet that I don't really use ever at all. Uh, and then we have got my Beats headphones, which are in a case right now. I'll quickly show you them. They're pretty cool, actually. They're, they're, I use them mainly for, like, when I'm out and about. Uh, sometimes I go jogging. Surprisingly, yes, I do jog. I know. I know what you're thinking. Um, but the, there they are. They're Beats Wireless Studios, I think. Uh, then we have my PC table right here with my, my PlayStation and my PlayStation controller thing. We have a Huawei router. That's how you say it, by the way. Huawei. You see how it's spelt? Huawei? Well, it's actually said Huawei, apparently. Um, this is a router that has like 200 gig of internet and it's got really bad speeds. Um, but I've been using that for the last week. It's been painful, but can't wait for the new internet to be installed. We have Harry Maguire and George Best on the wall because I have nails that I don't even know what to use for. Um, and then we have the actual setup, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's the best part of the house. Literally, because uh, it's mine, I guess. Uh, we've got three 27-inch 144 hertz curved gaming monitors. Totally overkill, totally not needed, totally had to have it. Um, <laughs> I'm just extra. Then we have 
a desk mouse mat with a Razer mouse mat as well. Uh, Razer mouse, don't know which one. Uh, Razer keyboard, don't know which one. PlayStation controller, Astro 40s, Elgato key light, which my camera is flashing no battery, so if we cut out randomly, it's because the camera has no battery. But I want to quickly show you how the Elgato key light works. It's really, really cool. It actually connects to an app on your phone. Press the little on button and boom, it's on. I can then change the color to be a soft orange light or a blue light or a white light. You probably can't see that on camera. We have a Logitech Bro, which is my normal go-to webcam on uh, like a little uh, arm thingy that's clamped to the desk. Same with the Elgato key light. And that's pretty much it. We have a bin, mini fridge, straws. I have to have everything with a straw, um, bags, and then wardrobes. So that is pretty much my room. Let's get back into the video. So there you go. That is a preliminary room tour uh, before we have the full house tour. There are a few things I left out. I'm also looking for any inspiration or any ideas you guys have for the background. Please let me know down below if you have any ideas, cool things for the background. Um, I have no idea what to put. I don't know if I should just buy a green screen for my background, if I should buy some cool stuff for the walls. A lot of people are telling me to go on display. Maybe I'll give display a go, but massive thank you to you guys for all the support and everything. Uh, recently, the channel has been absolutely crazy. We have gained like 5,000 subscribers in like a three week period, just under. And that to me is just unreal. So massive thank you to that. Of course, massive thank you as well to the likes of AJ3 for doing a squad builder showdown with me, which really helped out. And, and you know, Captain Tom for doing team takedowns and stuff like that. So thank you to them as well. Um, but I'm just very grateful. I'm really excited for FIFA 20. Hopefully you guys are too. I think this period of FIFA is going to be slower now to FIFA 20. I'm going to start bringing out some FIFA 20 content very soon. We'll have an I rate your teens video on Sunday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.